when the narcissist sees you're happy without them. When they see that you're successful. When they see that you're not worried or concerned after everything they did to you. You don't care. The narcissist made you appear as less important than you really are. As though you couldn't accomplish anything on your own. They devalued you. They shifted the blame onto you. They made you feel like you were at the bottom of the barrel. Like you were at the lowest possible condition. They put you in an unpleasant situation. And it was amusing to them. But when you reverse the situation by doing something unexpected at your best, and you perform extremely well, and you're not bothered by their attempts to destroy you, they can't tolerate it. It feels like an attack to them. It weakens them. Because they did everything they could to destroy you. They did everything they could to bring you down. They put all of their efforts into doing that. Because it was very important to them. They can't stand you. They despise you. Because they know that no matter what they do to you. They're never going to be you. They're never going to have what you have. They're never going to have the lifestyle. They're never going to have your happiness and joy. They're never going to find fulfillment in their lives. They experience that through you. You provided them with benefits and conveniences, and they partook in that. They consumed it. They devoured it. Because you had it. You had it to give to them. And they tried to be like you. They tried to compete with you. Until they realized that they couldn't be you. And that is when they began to devalue you. Until they finally discarded you. When the narcissist targeted you. They thought they could rob you of your qualities and abilities. Your money and possessions. Your lifestyle. They thought they could be you. But when they realized they couldn't, they tried to destroy you. It's like a kid who sees another kid playing with a toy. They want the toy, so they fight over it. They try to take it. But when they realize they can't have it, they try to destroy it. So that no one has it because they're bothered by your fulfillment with it. They want to take your happiness away from you because their happiness isn't like that. So they want to take away or destroy anything that makes you happy. And you may feel like there's nothing you can do to get back at them because they don't have anything. There's nothing for them to lose. There's nothing they have that you can take away. But they are getting their karma every day. They're miserable. They're dissatisfied with their lives. That's why they do what they do. Their misery fuels them to treat you this way. Which is why the more successful you become, the worse they get. They can't stand to see you starting more businesses. 
to see you with more money. To see you looking happier and healthier. To see you in a better place than you were with them. Because when you were around them, you couldn't think clearly. You were never at rest. You never felt peace within yourself. So you couldn't accomplish anything. Because they always had to keep you off balance. They kept you walking on eggshells. But then when you moved on, you returned to your normal condition. You recovered from that setback. You became healthier and more confident. You started to become successful again. Which is good for you, but it's not good for them. Because now they look stupid. After they told everyone you're crazy. After they told everyone you're incapable of accomplishing anything. Because now everyone can see that you're not the one with the problems. You're doing just fine without them. They're the ones who are struggling without you. They can't make it on their own. They're back with their family members. They're constantly reaching out for support because their smear campaign was just lies. They made false accusations. They spread rumors about you, but none of it was true. It wasn't an accurate description of your character, but now you're becoming stronger and more confident. You're not worried or concerned about the narcissist. You're at peace with yourself. You have money. You're becoming successful. And now they're glowering at you with an intimidating, irritated and judgmental facial expression. They're staring you down. They will be thinking of ways to rob you. They will hoover you. Or they will use family members or friends to contact you because they're so full of pride and arrogance and they're very sensitive to rejection. They can't stand that you're not bothered about them. But they were never thinking about you when they subjected you to mistreatment, when they did all of those things to you. So continue being unbothered. Continue being happy without them. They've made their bed. And they must lie in it. They must accept the unpleasant results of what they have done. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.